everybody, welcome back to some more Total Warhammer. Just continuing where we left off. Um, it'd be good to upgrade there, but I want to make sure we do have other stuff set up first. Because we do have an army down there protecting it, so I'm not as worried. Um, the Vampire Counts could attack us again, because we are at war with them again. Um, we will use this man as a scout, I guess. They do have that army there. It's a very sizable army, now that I look at it. Um, we do have the walls there, which is pretty good. Let's upgrade you. I don't think it will be attacked here. Um, so we're going to bring the Arch Lector back. Because we need him to defend against the Vampire Counts. He has a pretty strong army. Strong enough, I think, that... Um, that he should be able to fight them. Um, one thing we can actually do, we can recruit with our emperor here. Never mind, we're in foreign territory. Okay, so we will just get all the units to the emperor and the other lord, wherever he is. That one. We are just going to disband him. He's level one. He's entirely useless. Ooh, just to put it simply. Um. These are unfortunately going to take some time to to recruit. Um, so unfortunately, we do have to wait for that. I'm not not upset about, it, but I'm not happy about it either. Um, but they should be done by the time we're ready to actually attack Kemperbad here. So, um, Summon the elector counts. Is, are we still sieging this province? I don't think so. I think that got changed when we changed um, the leaders around and he was on march stance, so I think that got all mixed up and confuddled. I'm glad here. We don't we don't need this anymore. You can demolish that building. I'd much rather have uh, gates and stuff here. I don't expect us to be attacked down here, but there's no reason to have the increased growth. We don't need it anymore. Not in our capital province. Um, as for other buildings... Be good to upgrade you, but we need 4,800 for that. We get more income buildings. Never mind, not in that, not in that building, on that settlement, I should say. Uh, we don't need to upgrade that for now. Can get more income there, which we will do for now. And then we'll just end the turn. So I'm not sure. I I assume RK on arriving is just that. He's just going to be another lord that's going to control an army. That's my assumption. I do want to set this back to limited, actually. I do like to see where they all move. Friends of the Empire, come. Trade agreement, and they'll give me money for it. Absolutely. Apparently, we're untrustworthy, which kind of makes sense, uh, considering. Looks like a lot of chaos corruption is spreading up in Midden Lands to the north here. Which is kind of expected considering they've been around here for a very long time and just sort of destroying and taking stuff. Um, Stirland was raided. I don't remember. Around here. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's Kolek there. Um, we can get the Arch Lecter over there. Get him to go defend Wurtbad. Uh, the Vampire Counts will be coming as well, so that's something we have to keep in mind. We can keep assassinating their heroes because, well, we can. Um, what else can we get for him? That, that's what we want. Because we already have this and it would be good to just keep leveling up his reduction in corruption. Because it would be good once we do manage to take over the Vampire Council would be good to make sure that we can actually just get rid of the corruption before we actually have to fight them all. Bring me to my um, so they're still sieging, they're still recruiting, so two more turns for that. Which is a bit of a long wait, and it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I don't think we need the guardhouse here. I just don't think we do. Um, I think we just go for income there. Home guards, I will have the guardhouse. Do that. This character can level up. Um, Honest Steel I think is always good. 
just a just a solid skill. As for our objectives here, so now if we do look at it, yeah, so he's not wounded at the moment, he does exist. So we still got a bit more work to do. Um We've had to take out the vampire camps, which isn't too much more. Just uh two cities to take out and then there's one we can colonize. And then it's all up through here that we've got to work on. And then even further north, just to actually kill the vampire the warriors of chaos, so. Um, we might not actually finish this campaign in time, I might end it early, but obviously we'll try and get as close as possible to completing so, that objective. As is my right to fight so, Sigmar's crown. So we set up this siege equipment. We'll continue the siege. Like that. Um, you have all the SOE. Yes, you do. Uh, how is the... Right, corruption down here isn't too bad. Um, we do want to kill this army. It should be okay. These guys still need to replenish a, a decent bit more. Yeah, so we're up to 115 turns, which I... Oh, another achievement. I assume that's for getting a, a steam tank. Or something of that sort. Um, so yeah, we, we might not be able to finish it, so I, I might just end it early. He was assassinated, of course, because they always get it. Ah, uh, just... Never lucky rubber ducky. That's just how it is life. Oh well. Um, yep, yeah, so... I don't know if we're going to be able to take out that Warriors of Chaos army. It, I mean, I think just having artillery everywhere is really good. Artillery is amazing. Any kind of range unit is just... Both in real life and in games in general, i found. Just because... Just the, the fact that they can, you know, kill almost an entire squad before they even manage to get into melee range is, is amazing. Uh, War of Peace has been assassinated. New Zealand has been destroyed. Okay, so... Um, we do need our... Witch Hunter. Down here. And assassinate. Chance is too low, so obviously because of that. So, we're just going to tail her for now. Um, man here is just going to set up in the army. So they should be recruited by next turn. Okay. Um, okay, that's fine. We'll leave it at that. Uh, one more turn until this army is done. <clears throat> and then we'll go and probably just do the siege. Um, public order around here is an issue. Corruption and taxes is an issue. Um, put off here, if we upgrade this, public order will go up by one, but that's not enough. I, we need that. So let's upgrade it and getting just more income is always, always, always good. You can never have enough income. No one here. Um, what do you have that? I don't know what else we could really build here. We do have the backs already. Um, that is not too useful. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to get Shrine of Sigma around here. Um, wouldn't be a bad thing. But I'm not going to worry about it for now. We do have this uh, Varg army up here. Oh no, they're scaling. So I think we should be able to defend Ilhard here. It's really well defended now that I look at it. Good gas, and, and we have that army sitting there, so that's fine. Um, two more turns until they surrender. Next turn, these guys will back them up. Okay. I'm just sort of double checking over things just to make sure I've got them all prepared. The dwarves are doing amazingly well. I think they've almost actually wiped out the greenskins. There's the vampire counts. I was expecting them to attack us pretty soon, so. To see them there isn't really a surprise. We could see if we can make peace with them for now. Just so it's just uh, an army off our backs. Uh, I mean, they might take that province back. If they do, we should be able to easily take it back. But it's a big army around there and I'd rather not face it when I'm unprepared. I'm excited for Hearts of Iron 4. I, to be completely honest, I was more excited for Hearts of Iron 4 than I was Solaris. Um, watching a lot of the pre-release streams and whatnot. Solaris, I mean, it was an, uh, an okay game. I'll, you know, I'll leave it at that. But 
watching all those pre-release streams, I wasn't too interested. Um, Tony vs. Leonese, that's not good because uh, Chaos is coming again. Um, is it plus two now? I thought it was plus one. Regardless, um, so Britannia is actually getting quite large. Um, they'll probably be the last people we take out, to be completely honest. Get this army here, and they do have some artillery, which we we can take out with our horsemen. I'm feeling confident with this. Look at the size of him! <laughs> Holy crap! Obviously, it's a, it's quite a bad comparison, especially in game as well. Like in actual the the battle map, but that's kind of funny to see. Our poor little arch lector is like a little ant, a big old colec. I suppose the name Sun Eater was uh well deserves. Um, so in this situation, they do have missile cavalry, which is fine. We can beat them down with our archers. I think we're gonna sit back, wait for them to come to us, and then we're just gonna use our horsemen to uh, harass their artillery. Because that's the only thing that is really going to be an issue for us. So, we can move forward a bit, but by the time our horsemen get to the artillery, and, you know, with the pretty good chance that they send off units to protect their artillery, then I don't think it's going to be too quickly that we're going to be able to take it out. That's just my assumption, or guess how this battle is going to go. It would be completely different. We will have to see. I'm still surprised at the, the these load times. My computer isn't bad by any standards. It's reasonably good. It's quite up there, I would say, but I guess I mean the game does look gorgeous, so it's not surprising that it is demanding. We can gamble for the winds of magic. We can get a bit more than seven. There we go. Twenty one. Ooh. Man, I think I might go betting tonight. Not not actually. I'm I won. Last few times we've gone, I've <laughs> lost a lot of money. Fortunately, we can't set these guys up ahead of the battle, but that's fine. They're moving forward, so we can move forward as well. We can actually hide in this forest. We could do that. Um, Archlector, down there. Where is their artillery? There and there. Looks like they're actually moving it up, like within their lines, which is actually quite smart, considering... It'll be a lot harder for our cavalry to hit them there. But aside from that, it looks like a lot of our units are hidden here. We can set them up just on this hill there. And all these swordsmen, they will be hidden. Which is really awesome. Exactly what we want. Uh, looks like he's... he's ability to recharge. Okay, so it looks like he's buffed it a bit early. He's uh, fired his load a bit too quickly. Um, what are your skills? Nothing. That's fine. Earthing rod, augments. Right, okay. Um. Right, so they're firing at my cavalry now. Which is the exact opposite of what I wanted. Um, also one thing, I have been informed that it is possible to hit your own troops with artillery and archers. So, what I saw in one of my earlier videos of the archers not firing because they were obstructed that was because they would have done friendly damage so more of that now um we'll keep that in mind for artillery next time but it, it, it really didn't seem like the artillery was doing damage to me that's the thing it's what i what i'm finding curious it looks like their artillery is still aimed at our horsemen which is actually really good because the horsemen can take it they're, they're quite well armored and honestly they're quite fast moving as well so I don't think they had any real fear of being hit. Um, whereas for our infantry here we're gonna need to take out all theirs so we're gonna have this squad just constantly chase that one. Well they're charging in anyway so I'll charge in there. Gotta caught that army a little bit. Uh, we can get our arch selector here. He can drop uh, I don't remember the spells too well, to be completely honest. Plague of Rust, Searing Doom. We'll drop that. There. I do want to hit their artillery. So. You'll charge in there anyway. Archers. We'll set them up just there. They're probably 
Yeah, they're bad in range anyway, so they can just line up right there. Um, we'll get our cavalry here. They're going to run away for a bit so they can actually get some kind of charge in. Uh, infantry. Yeah, just charge in, hit the artillery. They will keep chasing them until the end of time, which is all we can want from them. We'll get our cavalry to charge in. Archers, they can do friendly fire. It's hard to see. And really, it doesn't appear to be that way, but... I mean, I could just be completely blind and missing it, so... We want to move these guys up here. And drop... I wonder if it's the same for spells. Maybe you can be hit by spells as well. Really, our big, our only con real concern here is um, Kolek. He's going to be difficult to take out. Let's actually get this unit to... I don't know. What do we want them to do? Archers here. Fire on their artillery. Actually, we'll get them to fire on their infantry. Get our arch lector. Drop that there. I don't think we get friendly fire for magic. I could be completely wrong. Um, let's get our cavalry out of there. Uh, having them engaged in close combat for too long is never a good idea. Let's uh, make sure their artillery is taken care of. I don't think they'll fire when they're this close, but I, uh, I don't trust them to be completely honest. The Kryptoners are almost dead. As is their artillery. Again, I really want the cavalry out of there. I don't like how close they are. Just get them to run. Looks like one of them is uh, is broken. Which is really unfortunate. Um, the army's in there. Taking out the artillery. These guys should be able to take them out. Archers are still firing in there. We can drop that right there. That should finish off the rest of them. Get that cavalry to charge up in there. These guys should run. Do that. Hold the line. Get that armor to charge back in there. As for the rest of our infantry, charge in there. We'll do Plague of Rust on Kolek. That should finish him off. Uh, get our archers just to stop firing. Because I don't want them to inflict any friendly fire. I'm like still not sure if they actually do, but I'd rather not risk it. No, that should finish them off. But, uh, that other missile cavalry all the way down there is really annoying. They're a decent bit faster than us it seems. Yeah, they're a lot faster than us, which is really annoying. But we've done it, we've uh, damaged Solek enough. It'd be good if we could actually kill him. Let's uh, get everyone to charge at him. It'd be really good to kill him. Uh, there's a chance that um, if his army routes, we can still hit him. I think that's going to hit him. Eh, no, not quite. Okay. Well, we're not going to catch him because he's a giant centaur so no hope with that um last was when that big it wasn't a very big battle um as, as unsurprising as it is the big units did a lot to us so this army doesn't have too many infantry now that i'm looking at it we've got three four how much is that we've got five units of infantry that's not including uh rudiger here which isn't really that much. Uh, we execute the captives. Does it do any more damage to them? I'm not sure. I do want that. I still cannot believe the size of Kolek on the map here. It is ridiculous. As for this. Um, is there anything else that I want? Um, that would be good. Damage, okay, contour. Yeah, he's our wizard, so we'll keep upgrading him. Agavast, um, leadership plus armor could be good. Um, let's just get a wider array of spells as opposed to just a good amount of a few spells. So, we're going to attack him again. 
auto resolve it. We lost only one unit, which is really impressive. Um, we could gain money from it, but we don't need it. Execute the captives. Ability Rune Fang. Augments. Wow, that's really good. We must have stolen that from him. I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, you've got all this stuff, which is fine, but I'd much rather you be good on the battlefield. Regardless, uh, march down because we do want these guys to um, be prepared to fight the Warriors of Chaos. Now, we're going to get a few spearmen here. Just because I feel like we need more infantry around there. I'm just in that army. They to assassinate. Kind of sad. Uh, they are taking attrition. Of does have a guardhouse. Excuse me. Uh, it doesn't have walls though. Which is kind of what we needed around here. We can get that for now. This army is done. I'm ready to go siege this. Men, walk mm. ready by Sigma. No. You good. I'm not sure if he's in the direct radius to be a part of this siege. There we go. That should do it. Um, one more turn. We can wait one more turn. Um, no peace, just war. We can wait one more turn for that. Probably something that we do next episode. So. We'll end the turn here, and then that will be the end of the video. And the next video, we're gonna take down Kemperbad. We're gonna regenerate, and we're gonna fight off that army of the vampire camps right there. Naturally, they're fighting us here. Um, really? Oh, they've got a lot of black coaches, actually. Kind of scary. Um, we're not gonna win this battle. I'm gonna auto resolve it. It's kind of lazy. Like I could fight it myself, and then. We actually almost killed I'm I'm like oh Heinrich there. Pretty impressive. But they'll yeah, they'll take that back. Um, because it is part of their direct area that they want. I am ready. Are you? And yeah. This is what bugs me. It zooms in really close and you can't zoom out and I'd I much prefer to have a look at the actual map as opposed to you know, a tiny little army moving around, which you can see on the wider map anyway. The Britannia is still doing work, um, which is good. It's good that they're big because they're just basically distracting the chaos for me while I do my own thing and get stronger by myself. But I mean, the chaos is going to be tough to take down. It's going to be a real big slog to get rid of them. Um, we might have to go for the individual clans as opposed to the actual chaos warriors. Although there's a chance, you know, sort of uh, cutting the head off the snake. Available lords. Archlector was assassinated. Of course. Um, what would we like? Um, honorable's good. This will bolster the nation. Magic change. Duty. Leadership versus the vampire counts. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so we do have the issue of these guys down here. How they got here, I have no fucking idea. Where did they come from? That is ridiculous. Where? What's their clan called? Bjornling. Where is the Bjornling people? Um, here we go. Speak, you craven car, and pray to whatever thing you dare to call a god. I do not cut your gun. So they just randomly spawn in the middle of nowhere and just, it's really just a nuisance. Um, it's another thing to take care of, but we will have these two armies available to go deal with that because they're sizable armies as well, not to mention. No. That's what we'll have to do next episode. Uh, just a, an array of things trying to slow us down and create hurdles for us, but regardless, we'll get over them. We'll get to the finish line. Um, and we will continue to do that next episode. But for now, that is all. So I will see you guys next time.